coming back to my channel. It's been a long time. Today I've got something new for you. It's a hack that we can paint the right colors with gel pen. And this hack really works. Without any further ado, let's get right on to it. Hi guys, today we are going to blend these gel pens, which are the cheapest ones in the market. They cost around 100 bucks, the Indian rupees, which is one and a half dollar. We'll see how it blends. So this is the tape we are going to use. It's a rough surface tape. It's called Scotch Scotch Magic Tape. That's it. Yeah, it's it's good. Let's see how it works. The real hack in this is we are going to use this liquid, which is none other than glycerin. This rain is supposed to be a very good medium to blend these colors and we'll just see how it works. After blending this rain, we will see. For blending my gel pens, I'm going to use this razor tip brush which gives me sharp fine edges and I'm going to use two tissue papers one to clean the brush and the one to dab it dry so let's get on with it and let's see how this hack works I think we all are going to be surprised okay here we have got a set of three squares pair of them in each square we are going to put different color randomly three different colors and we will see what it turns out to be. On the bottom line, we are going to blend two shades and three shades. We will see how it works with three colors. So let's start by making a painting board. Take a tape, stick it right on the board. That's it. Now this is going to be our painting board. Okay, now let's choose the random colors from here. These are gel pens. Okay, so let's take, we'll start with the blue. Then we'll take something, okay, we'll choose the orange. And the last color, let's see what we can do. Okay, I think we'll use the green. So we got the blue, orange and the green. Now we'll use a magic potion. That is the glycerin. We are going to start with the color blue and we are going to rub it on a painting board. I'll call it the painting board. Rub enough pigment so we get a nice bright color. Now we take our brush. Remember one thing just a little bit of glycerin just a little bit can you see I have hardly taken a tip and I will blend it on the painting board I'll blend it and blend it and blend it till you see the color wow what a lovely color we have got let's check it out yeah yeah see we got a very beautiful color so very vibrant this color looks exactly like you would paint a watercolor or a watercolor paste. See the richness in the color. It's really beautiful. And once this is done, take your brush and put it on your tissue paper. Give it a rub. You don't need to use water. Just keep rubbing your brush till it's totally, totally dry. And when you finish, rub out your painting board with the tissue so you have a clean slate to do it again.
Now we're going to start blending two colors. So we'll start with the blue. Get enough pigmentation so we get a nice vibrant color. Then we are going to use the green. Now you see I have kept a gap between both the colors. Now if you want the color darker, you apply more green. If you want it lighter, you apply lesser green. Now we'll blend it. Remember, the glycerin has to be at a very low quantity. You don't want it diluted lots so you get a very light color. The right portion will get you the light, exact vibrant color. Blend it up and down, up and down. Just keep blending it. And let's start. Wow! Do you see this color? Such a marvelous color. This is the aqua blue. It's like somewhere in the sea, the green of the sea. Such a lovely color. See the smoothness. There are no lines, no cracks, no paper visible. And the best part is, your paper will not bleed. If you take extra glycerin, it is going to bleed. Compare this green to that green, you see? With the blue, we've got a different green. Now, as before I have said, clean your brush with the tissue. Dab it out because you don't want it staining your next paint. Because on the next, we are going to use two different colors in the next square. And let's see what happens. So I rub off my brush till I get a clear brush coming out from the tissue. I take the tissue and I'll wipe off the slate. So we have a clean board for the next round. So let's start with another two colors. First we'll use the orange. As I said, good pigmentation. Rub it. Then I'm going to use the blue. Now mixing these two colors is a surprise. Any guesses as to what color is going to come in? Remember you can use your imagination and blend any two colors that you need. As before again, very little glycerin and I'm going to blend it as before, up and down. It's too much. I found the glycerin a bit too much. I removed it. I'm blending it up and down, up and down. Let's see what color we get. This color is a universal color. If you remember, this color is used everywhere around the world. It should remind you of something. Wow, see the blending, it's so beautiful. Now this color is none but the military green. It's a camouflage color. This is the most popular color used around the world. Now you see I have taken a little extra glycerin. I am going to dab it and remove. Remember, it's harmless. Nothing can go wrong. Just rub your brush again and you can come back to the same color. Your paper will not bleed. But if you take excess, be quick enough to dab your tissue and remove the excess pigmentation. See that? I found it excess. I dab it. I remove it. I wipe my brush and all ready to go for the next color. As I said, the third square is going to be of three colors. First we put the orange. Rub it nicely. Then we are going to use the green. Rub it nicely. And last of all, 
you're going to use the blue now this is something tricky using the three colors that it blends so well you get a very weird color let's see the idea behind this behind the blending of glycerin is that we get smooth texture no marks no bleeding and on paper we get a very vibrant color let's try it just rub your brush up and down whoa this color is totally different remember these colors were just randomly picked there was no plan behind this let's see okay now this color looks totally different if any of you know the name of this color please comment below and write to me because as I have said this is just randomly picked and we can use this whenever we want whatever color we desire just by blending the twos and the threes wow I just love the finishing I just love the smoothness that's the end now this is the final painting of all the six colors that we used the three top single color two blending two colors with these three gel pens and a little glisten little as I said very little now the most important and why you should take so much trouble is look at my paper at the back it doesn't bleed can you see there is no bleeding at all what print you see on top is nothing but of the sketch pens that is on top you see the sketch pens are bled and it's left a mark but not the gel pen so this is the outcome of what we get with three gel pens now if you like it please like and comment on my channel so this is the final product of how we get it done if you like this and you wish to see more of these type of things like and subscribe to my channel for lovely tips and tricks please keep watching you'll be surprised